Hello friends, this is Sam Cheney reporting for WeaponizedNews.com. Today is January 28th, 2017. And oh my gosh, President Trump is actually doing what he said he was going to do. How refreshing. A politician that actually does what they say they're going to do. What they're elected to do. The media can't handle it because they're professional liars the mainstream media, so they don't know how to act. They're freaking out. A bunch of people are freaking out. Just calm down. Let's go through the headlines. Trump taking over the news again. Seems like on a daily basis now. Doing more in his first week in office than Obama did with eight years in office as president. Top of Drudge Report. Refugees blocked from USA. Airports prevent from boarding flights. Protesters gather at JFK. Ban includes green card holders. Expands power of immigration officers. Iranian filmmaker barred from Oscars. Tehran vows retaliation. Google recalls overseas staff. Silicon Sultans panic. Hollywood meltdown. Fear and rage on U.S.-Mexico border. Netanyahu hails Trump decision on wall. Trump-Putin call amid European anxiety. Joint ISIS fight. Let's go to some of the headlines and break it down further. What's actually happening here. Fear and rage on U.S.-Mexico border. And of course... Trump said Mexico is going to pay for the wall. Mexico President Nieto, Peña Nieto, says they're not going to pay for the wall. And he canceled his meeting, coming to the United States to meet with Trump. There's something like a uh, $60 billion to $75 billion trade deficit with Mexico. That's what Trump's talking about. When he says we're being ripped off in trade deals. Something like 80% of Mexico's exports go to the United States. Mexico's threatening that they're going to uh, let the cartels run wild and let immigration run wild if we don't uh, back off on having them pay for the wall and if we don't uh, back off on uh, renegotiating NAFTA. Well, they're already doing that. So this is completely and utterly ridiculous. They have no leverage. <coughs> Excuse me, Trump and the United States has all the leverage in this negotiation for the wall, paying for the wall, renegotiating GAP, NAFTA, and so on. Continuing here. Hollywood slams Donald Trump, Muslim ban as disgusting, disturbing, and... So what Muslim ban are they talking about? Let's go now to Zero Hedge here. Homeland confirms Trump immigration ban will include green card holders and dual nationalities. President Trump's decision to ban immigration from seven Muslim majority countries, the Department of Homeland Security just confirmed Julian Christian said the order will bar green card holders and those who hold dual nationality also will be barred. That's why everybody's freaking out right now. The State Department told the Wall Street Journal the 90-day visa moratorium extends beyond just citizens of Iraq, Iran, Somalia, Sudan, Syria, Sudan, Syria, Libya, and Yemen. It also applies to people who originally hail from those countries but are traveling on a passport issued by any other nation, the statement notes. That means Iraqis seeking to enter the, the U.S. on a British passport, for instance, will be barred. According to a U.S. official, British citizens don't normally require a visa to enter the United States. Travelers who have 
nationality or dual nationality of one of these countries will not be permitted for 90 days to enter the United States or be issued an immigrant or non-immigrant visa. Those nationals or dual nationals holding valid immigrants immigrant or non-immigrant visas will not be permitted to enter the United States during this period. Visa interviews will generally not be scheduled for nationals of those countries during this period. The dual citizen ban doesn't apply to U.S. citizens who are also citizens of the seven nations singled out by Trump. As the Hill reports, If you were a Muslim, you could come in. But if you were a Christian, it was almost impossible, talking about refugees coming in from Syria. So, yeah, they're letting in Muslims and not Christians. And Trump has had enough of it. Here's the countries that Trump wants to ban or already has banned immigrants coming from let's take a look here Iran Iraq Syria Libya Sudan Yemen and Somalia and you can see here on a map their positions in the Middle East I, hey, I think we should also ban Saudi Arabia, Oman. I mean, don't forget the, the 28 pages of the 9-11 Commission report that were declassified implicating Saudi Arabia in 9-11, okay? And uh, I think we should probably also ban Afghanistan refugees. Continuing. Yesterday on Friday, Trump met with UK Prime Minister Theresa May in a, quote, special relationship that the United States has with Britain because Brexit happened, what, back in June? The British people, the UK people turned away from the European Union, globalization, one world government. Very similarly, The United States people voted Donald Trump in, a populist, to refute globalization, the new world order. So we have very much in common with our closest ally, Great Britain. It's good that he's building these diplomatic ties with the UK now. Continuing. Again, Hollywood's all pissed off. Tech industry frets over possible immigration changes. And of course, Mark Zuckerberg calls his users dumb fuckers. Uh, has moved into Hawaii. What is it, a seven, 700 acre estate? Suing to kick people off their land, building a wall all around it protecting himself with armed guards, but he's against your Second Amendment, and he's against us having a sovereign country. But this fool can do whatever he wants. Complete hypocrisy. Continuing, Google recalls staff to U.S. after Trump immigration order. Memo from Google says more than 100 employees implicated. Oh, poor Google. They're all pissed off about it too. Elitist scumbags who don't give a damn about the United States. Iran says to ban U.S. visitors in retaliation to Trump move. Who wants to go to Iran anyway? So yeah, now Iran is going to ban U.S. citizens from entering the country in retaliation to Washington's visa ban against Tehran. Hey, go to Iran at your own risk. The United States says they're the largest state sponsor of terror. I mean, I don't have problems with any of these countries' people. Their governments are a different story, and terrorist factions 
within this country are a serious problem. And our own government funding terrorists is a serious problem working in cohesion with these terrorist states. Never forget that the United States plays a big hand in funding, training, and arming Al-Qaeda, ISIS, you name it, of terrorist groups in the Middle East. The best enemy money can buy, okay? And we could go all the way back to Nazi Germany, to Stalin's Russia, to Stalin's Soviet Union, to Lenin's Soviet Union, to the Bolsheviks. The United States played a big part in funding all those tyrannical regimes as well. Do your own research about it. There's plenty out there. Continuing in this report, Trump executive orders dramatically expand power of immigration officers. It's exactly what he said he was going to do. That's what he was elected to do, is to secure our borders and end the war on terror, defeat ISIS, Al-Qaeda. Continuing, green card holders included in Trump ban, Homeland Security. And of course, they're crying about the green card holders. Well, as was explained, if you have links to one of these other countries, you're not getting in. I'm sorry. You have to be vetted. National security. Protesters gather at JFK in support of detained refugees. Trump's trying to end the war on terror. Okay? It's a step-by-step -step process. We can't have unvetted refugees flying back and forth. These people with visas, we don't know who they are. As Trump continues to say, we need a full review of what's going on, and I totally agree. And we should add more countries to this list because it's completely and utterly ridiculous that there's a war on terror going on, but we let a free flow of people going and coming from the countries we're in a war on terror with. Continuing. Oh yeah, we're all Muslims now, really? It's not about Muslims. It's about radical Islamic terrorism, the war on terror, jihadist, extremists that want to come here and do Americans harm. Stopped at the border, U.S. bound Muslim travelers are stopped from boarding flights as Donald Trump's ban sweeps into force. Seven passengers flying from Cairo to New York were told they couldn't get on the plane while tech giant Google has recalled its staff back to the U.S. Oh my gosh. It's exactly what Trump said he was going to do. He's doing it. Continuing, Israel's Netanyahu hails Trump decision on Mexico wall. Israel's a wall fighting against the Palestinians in their country. And regardless of where you stand on that issue, they have a wall that works. It keeps out the terrorists. They're always trying to blow each other up on both sides. They need a wall. We need a wall. The Mexican drug cartel is uh, violence from the war on drugs. We need to end that, okay? But while it's going on, there's a war on drugs on our southern border. The cartels are fomenting massive violence. Mexico is basically a failed state. We need a wall there to defend our country against the war on drugs, Mexican drug cartels, possible terrorists coming in. So, yes, we need a wall just like they have in Israel. Mexico has a wall on its southern border, bordering Guatemala. If you don't have border control then you don't have a country. This is for United States sovereignty. Continuing. Trump's order blocks immigrants at airports stoking fear around the globe. There again. Crying about all these people who can't get in. You have to be... The, the program 
the immigration program is being revamped and these are the consequences of that revamping before more terror attacks happen in the United States. Trump's a statesman. He's reaching out to leaders around the world. Trump and Putin discuss coordinating on ISIS and Syria. Kremlin says, what a novel idea. Instead of going to war with Russia, we let Russia do our dirty work in the Middle East and let them carry the load of defeating radical Islamic terrorism. Oh, and by the way, remember Russia went into Afghanistan to fight terrorist and uh, they lost and used up a hell of a lot of resources I don't hear anybody saying hey let's let Russia use some of their resources in this war on terror what a novel idea and let's maybe work with the other nuclear superpower in this world rather than constant rhetoric of war with them and who what Trump is uh, acting like a statesman. He, he met with the UK Prime Minister. He's talking with Russia, Japan, Germany, France. I mean, it's looking hell presidential to me. Doing what he said he was going to do. So, there you have it. Trump's doing what he said he was going to do. The mainstream media and fanatical American hating socialist communists are freaking out having a meltdown along with uh, Facebook and Google who are complete hypocrite uh, New World Order operations one world government operations undermining American sovereignty so once again Trump's done more in one week as president than Obama did with eight years as president for the United States, for United States sovereignty against the new world order, against one world government for national security, for sovereignty. Trump's doing it. I just want him to ban people from more of these Middle Eastern countries. Again, like Saudi Arabia, Oman, let's ban those people. Let's ban uh, Afghanistan refugees as well. We're, what do you expect? I don't approve of the war on terror ever starting. 9-11 was a fraud. We were lied to about 9-11. But now we're in it. We got to finish it. We got to end it. And Trump's taking the steps to end it right now. Do your own research. Subscribe to this channel, speak out and take action.